Hi, this video is all about how circulation patterns of currents of warm and cold water uh, around the oceans influence the climate. And particularly, considering how changes in these circulation patterns might contribute to climatic change. There's an unusual quirk about the climates that we find around the coast of the Atlantic Ocean. Consider these two places. St. Helier in Jersey. It's a lovely place to go and visit uh, for a midwinter break. It's a relatively mild uh, 9.7 degrees on average in February. St. John's in Newfoundland on the western side of the Atlantic is actually a little bit further south than St. Helier. The average temperature in February there is minus 4.9 degrees. So why do we have a near 15 degree difference in temperature in these two places that are almost the same latitude? The answer we find in oceanic currents. This is a simplified map of what's known as the global conveyor belt. This transfer of uh, heat energy through warm water and um, cold water currents that have a, a significant impact on parts of the world. And here in Britain, we feel this in particular. You can see on this map uh, where Labrador, uh, the Labrador current is mentioned, the island of Newfoundland, just south of the label. You can see that there's a cold water current coming from the Arctic, running down the east coast of North America the Labrador current. That keeps the east coast of America, particularly in the winter, significantly colder than perhaps it should be. Equally, we have a warm current, Gulf Stream, the North Atlantic drift, flowing up the west coast of Britain, keeping Britain warmer than it should be, particularly in the winter. If we look at this North Atlantic current in a little more detail, you can see that the North Atlantic current moves in a roughly northeasterly direction across the Atlantic, traveling from lower latitudes. The current originates from the Gulf of Mexico and is, if you like, a way of transporting heat by the ocean across the Atlantic. As it passes up the west coast of the British Isles, this heat is, is given off, keeping our climate mild in the winter, uh, certainly milder than we'd expect to be, located as we are between 50 and 60 degrees north. This heat is dissipated uh, as you can see, up through the by the coast of Norway uh, and on the, along the south coast of Iceland. The return on this current then is down the far northwestern coast of the Atlantic Ocean, with these cold water currents flowing down by Greenland, bringing icebergs as well down to the uh, uh, far northeast of North America uh, and down the east coast of Canada and America. You can see on this map uh, where Newfoundland uh, is located, where we saw the photograph earlier of St. John's. This is an important regulating factor or controlling factor in the climates that we experience on the two coasts of the Atlantic Ocean.
Now this, unfortunately low resolution image, gives us an indication of perhaps how this um, particular current may not be a permanent feature of the ocean. There is good evidence to suggest that during the uh, late Quaternary glaciations, the Gulf Stream, rather than going uh, north easterly in direction, actually went pretty much due east. With that warm water reaching the coast of Africa rather than northern Europe. Now, this inevitably will have a cooling effect on the coast of Northwest Europe. Britain would be a lot colder place without this heat from the Gulf Stream warming our climate. Now there is some di discussion about whether this is a cause or an effect of glaciations in Northern Europe. Whether the glaciations force the Gulf Stream further south or whether the Gulf Stream changing or in uh, direction of movement is actually a trigger for the advance of glaciers. Whichever it certainly plays a major part in determining our climate. So, to conclude, the position of the North Atlantic Drift has a significant impact on Britain's climate. It warms us in the winter. The cold water currents in the east uh, of North America keep that climate colder perhaps than it should be. If that position of the Gulf Stream changes that can have a significant impact on our climate and perhaps even the advance of glaciers across Britain. Notice as well from the diagrams that the change is far more pronounced in Europe than it would be in North America. We can get significant changes, significant movements in the position of the Gulf Stream in the Eastern Atlantic compared to the Western Atlantic. Don't forget to come up with your interesting question and bring it along to class. I'll see you then.